How are you doing? Good. Thanks for your time. Of course. <laughs> Season three is just bananas from the screeners I've gotten to see so far. Are there what have specific- you seen? What have you seen so far? Oh my goodness. If I told you, we would tell okay. our readers and then we get oh, in trouble. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Don't tell me. It's as action packed as ever. Where do we pick up though with Bennett? I think uh, Bennett Bennett's main main uh, mission this season is to complete and fulfill everything that Melanie was trying to to get done when you know when she left the when she left the train uh, I think the whole reason for her for leaving the train last season you know kind of comes to pass now and it, his main mission is to um, I guess get us to you know get it like show how the science works and and kind of stand by all of Melanie's efforts and make sure that you know, people are listening. And um, I think it's also very difficult for him because she's not on the train and, you know, and she was, you know, obviously a, a real ally for him. I think that's difficult kind of not knowing where she is, not knowing if she's alive. Um, it's, it's, it's something that's really kind of weighed on him. Um, but I think what helps him through that is just getting to the end of this goal and making sure that he kind of stands by what she stood for. Um, so I think, yeah, that's the kind of the best way of, um, of, of describing what he's kind of going through this year. And regards to Wilford, <laughs> It's such a, he's he's such a menacing character. I mean, when it comes to his wrath, do you think Bennett's, uh, (laughs) do you feel like Bennett uh, feels invincible? Um, I always kind of, I always get the feeling that, you know, Bennett knows what, what a monster he is, um, even if it's all kind of veiled in this kind of beautiful, you know, in all these fantastic clothes and everything. Um, and he's also so well put together. I think Bennett knows exactly who he is, you know, from, from the way he was kind of putting the train together towards the time the train was going to set off and what was important to him. Um, and obviously everything that he's been doing since then. But I think that, um, I think there's a part of, of Wilford that I think Be- Bennett, I think Bennett thinks Wilford's kind of jealous of the the relationship he has with Melanie and the fact that, you know, he's kind of taken, um, not Melanie, but kind of Melanie's concentration. It, it, she doesn't, you know, like Wilford just doesn't have Melanie where she is. And I think that um, Bennett's possibly something to do with that. Each season, episodes get more intense. Is mm-hmm. there, <laughs> what do you think it is about Snowpiercer that makes it and continues to make it such a fan favorite series? I actually think it's it's the same thing that um, <clears throat> the same thing that propels a train. You know, the 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 fact that the train is constantly moving mm-hmm. um, to kind of stay alive. I think that's also really part of the thing that's really exciting about the show to watch. Um, there is something about this momentum and the way the, the characters are characters each other. other. Um, I think that more and more we're kind of getting into the characters now. Um, so that combined with the, the pace and the action, I think it's kind of a big payoff for people that have been, have been watching so far. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really thank think you so much. Are- gonna ever as ever be on the edge of their seats with season three thank you so much jamie appreciate it my pleasure